application of derivatives. Solve the quadratic equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c which passes through 4, 4 and has slope equal to minus 1 when x equals to 2 and a slope equal to 11 when x equals to 8. So in this question as you can see we are given a quadratic equation and three conditions and in this equation we need to solve the values for a, b and c. So there are three unknowns and we have three conditions. So with these three conditions we will get three equations which will help us to solve all the three unknowns. So that is the strategy. So let's write down the equation here which is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. And now we'll use the first condition and that is it goes through the point 4, 4. So when it goes through the point 4, 4, that is 4, 4 lies on the equation, on this curve. Therefore, I can put value of x as 4 and I should get y as 4. So we get 4 equals to a times 4 square plus b times 4 plus c, which gives us 4 equals to 16a plus 4b plus c. So that is our first equation, right? So we'll call this as equation number one. Now, to get the second equation, we will use the condition that slope is minus one when x is two. So to get the slope, it is better to write first the derivative of the equation, right? So let's get back to our equation, which is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Now what is derivative of this equation? That is dy by dx or we can write y dash is equals to 2ax plus b, right? So that is the derivative of this equation. Now what we can do is they'll, we'll put these two conditions here on this equation and then solve for it. So let me do it this on the right side. So what we have here is y dash equals to 2ax plus b and we have two conditions. First condition is that slope is equals to minus 1 at x equals to 2. So if x equals to 2 then y dash equals to minus 1. So let's put this condition and solve further. y dash is minus 1, we we'll write minus 1 equals 2, x is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, we can write 4a plus b. So that is one equation. The second condition is that at x equals to 8, y dash or slope is 11. Slope is 11. So that will give us third equation. So we'll put x equals to 8 in our derivative equation and y for y dash. 11 for y dash. So 11 equals to 2 times a to 16 a plus b right so that is how we get two more equations let me call them equation number two and equation number three so we have these three equations with us now as you can see we can solve for a and b using equation two and three so let's do equation three take away equation two if I take away from this third equation, equation number 2, b and b will cancel, right? 16a minus 4a will be 12a. So we get here 12a equals to 11 minus minus 1 is 12. So we get a is equals to 1. So we get one value, that is a is equal to 1. So that is our first solution, solution for variable a. Now once we get a, we can get b from our previous equation. So to get b, we can utilize equation number 2 and then plug in a as, so let's write this 4. So we'll use equation number 2 and 4. So we'll substitute value of a equals to 1 in equation number 2 and calculate b. 
So we get minus 1 equals to 4 times 1 is 1 plus b. So we can write this as minus 1 and this is minus 4 equals to b. That means b is minus 5 for us. Correct? So b is minus 5. Now once we know a and b, then we can calculate c right from the original equation. So, so we have a, b and let me call this as equation 5. Now we'll use a as 1, b as minus 5 in our equation which was equation number 1. Equation number 1 is 4 equals to, let me write, 4 equals to 16a and a is 1. So this is 16 plus 4b plus 4 times b is minus 5. Let me write minus 5 here plus c, right? So that is by using equation 1. So what we did here, we substituted value of a and b, that means a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5. We substitute these values in equation 1, correct? Equation 1 is 4 equals to 16a plus 4b plus c. So let me underline this. So we are substituting a, which is 1, so it becomes 16, 4 equals to 16, and then b is minus 5, minus 5 times 4 will give me minus 20 plus c, and there I can calculate the value of c. We get 4 equals to 16 minus 20 plus c. Now 16 minus 20 is minus 4. So you get 4 equals to minus 4 plus c or c equals to 8. So that gives us the value of c as 8. And now we can write down our answer. The answer is that a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 8. So let me write down the answer here. Our answer is a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 8. So that is how this kind of question can be solved. The important thing here is that when you have to find values of three unknowns, you have to look for three equations and then simultaneously solve those equations to get the result. Thank you.